Give me a hug. Nathaniel Garber Schoen brings his dog, Kangaroo, with him to work every day at Garber Hardware in Chelsea. Pull over. You gotta, you gotta roll all the way over. As you can see, Kangaroo loves to show his owner affection, especially when treats are involved. I love my dog. He's like a child to me, you know, as ridiculous as that might sound to people with actual children. Um, I, you know, love him like a family member. A new study shows treating our dogs like our family members has consequences. Researchers found since dogs began to live with people, they've changed over time. During the last 30,000 years or so, dogs have evolved in both how they act and how they look. They found a muscle um, that's in a dog's eye that helps them to raise their eyebrows that you don't find in a wolf, um, which are dogs' ancestors from a long, long, long time ago. Andrea Arden is an animal behavior expert. She says the study in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences backs up what she's found in her own work. Dogs are trying to communicate with us. Scientists doing this study labeled the expression AU101 inner eyebrow raise. The unscientific term, puppy dog eyes. For many, many years, we have uh, proactively bred dogs um, and surrounded ourselves with dogs that are very expressive. That expressiveness allows us to feel more connected to them and kind of in a lot of ways see ourselves in them. So don't take those puppy dog eyes for granted. The bottom line, dogs over time have figured out how to look at us so we love them even more. I don't think I needed a study to know that my dog was trying to communicate with just about anybody he can communicate with. In Chelsea, Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.